The damage has been widespread tonight. All day, downpours led to a lot of flash flooding, trees falling down, and our Aaron Edwards is in Monroe, where one of those trees came crashing down right in the middle of a road. Aaron? Scott, the road has been closed for hours here because of this giant tree that fell. This is Corinth Church Road near Monroe, and this wasn't the only storm-related issue we saw tonight. Several roads were closed throughout the Charlotte area for downed trees, flooding, and water rescues. Heavy rain from Bertha soaked the Carolinas today, flooding creeks, closing roads, and saturating yards. It's about three to four feet deep. And Vanessa Dye is sick of it. She told me she's been dealing with flooding issues at her Indian Trail home for 11 years. The creek behind her house on Poplar Glen Drive filled so high today, it ripped down the fence in her backyard. Dye says after a big rain, mowing her lawn or letting her dogs out to play becomes impossible for days. In one second, it's nothing because um, earlier today it was very low and now it's a river with a strong current and it can take your dog in a heartbeat. She tells me the town made the creek deeper and wider last year, but it didn't make much difference. We were grateful that the town came out and, and tried something, but it didn't work. And now I don't think, I don't know what they're going to do. Two town officials were in the neighborhood today to assess the problem. They tell me they're investigating ways to improve drainage. It's only going to get worse as time goes on. Meanwhile, this afternoon, a few miles to the west, McMullen Creek rushed over the road in Cotswold, closing Addison Drive near Robin Hood Road. And just 10 minutes away in Plaza Midwood, rescue crews had to help a man who got stuck trying to drive through floodwaters. Channel 9 was there as they helped him get to safety. Luckily, he wasn't hurt. Well, you know, Aaron, we always hear don't drive through floodwaters, turn around, don't drown. But you say tonight officials also want to remind people to don't get around those trees. That's not safe either. Yes, yeah, Scott, and someone actually tried to get around this tree tonight. Take a look. They went around and hit this mailbox and then took off. Now, officials also say it's important not to go around trees because you never know just how soaked the ground is on either side of the road.